Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Microsoft Project to work with different countries. So out of the box, Microsoft Project is set up for the United States predominantly. That's eight to five, Monday through Friday, and using 40 hour work weeks and dollars for currency. I'm going to show you how to set this up for England, for the United Kingdom because I used to live there, I know a little bit about it, and you can use the same things what I'm going to do today for any country that you want to work in. So the first thing you want to do is come to project and click on change working time. Okay, you're going to see here we've got standard calendar. That is for the United States. That's, you know, eight to five Monday through Friday. We can create our own. I'm going to call this UK calendar. You can have multiple calendars. So if you're working in different countries across the world, you're going to need to do this as well. I'm going to make a copy of standard calendar. You can just do a copy of the base, but they're exactly the same thing right now. So what do I want to do first? Well, I want to come in and change the working time. So for the UK, I can click options. And I can say, right, what time do I start? Well, we generally work nine. Some, com some companies work nine till six with an hour for lunch. We'll go nine to five. Okay, so actually you take a 30 minute lunch break. So the hours per day is actually 7.5. Can get tricky with all the math and stuff like that. So obviously you've got to do 37 and a half hours per week. Days per month, we'll leave that at 20. That's, you know, the, that's how Microsoft Project calculates a month as four weeks. So days per month is still going to be four weeks just the hours within those days are shorter. So that's one of the things we need to do is the settings here. Now, if you're working in um, uh, Dubai or something like that, your work week might start on a different day. Maybe it starts on a Monday, or maybe it starts on a Sunday. You can set that up in here. Fiscal year, that's kind of irrelevant, but it's how you can capture fiscal accounting costs across your project. Um, I'm not going to mess with that because that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm going to press OK. Now what I can do is come in here and add exceptions. So in the UK, we get uh, we, we get um, a number of holidays. Now every organization is going to have different ones in America. but In the UK, they're pretty standard. Um, we get the August bank holiday. We get Easter. We get another number of others. I'm going to come in here and I think Easter's coming up is the next one. So Easter, we get Good Friday and Easter if that lands during the week. So it's actually two days off. All right, so Easter. All right. So I'm going to come in here. Oh, it doesn't like the dates. Let me cancel that one. I'm going to do Good Friday, which I think is coming up uh, January, February, March, April. I think it's going to be the 15th is Good Friday. So it starts and finishes on the same day. So when I look at April on the calendar now, it is not a working day. So we can set up the calendar exceptions, right? That's more of a calendar thing. Work weeks is what I really want to play with. So default is eight to five Monday through Friday. I'm going to click on default and then press details. I can say what I want my hours to be. So I'm going to set these to specific working hours. So it's going to be nine a.m. until 12 and then 12.30. Come on, here we go. 30 p.m. until 5 p.m. All right, so they get 30 minutes for lunch, finished by 5. 9 to 5, 30 minutes for lunch. Now, those working hours there, you see it's seven and a half hours per day, that should always reflect what we did in the options when we set up how many hours there were per day. Okay? You can do the same things. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, from Friday. 
So here we go. Here's Tuesday. Let's do the same thing. Oh, I did Monday. I'm going to do Tuesday. So nine, twelve, and twelve thirty. until five okay good same thing set specific days nine twelve you get the idea I'm not going to do this for every single one this is the last one I'm going to do and then 12 30 to 5 boom 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 so I've set the working calendar so every time I put in a task duration is one day you'll notice if I was to a sign a resource to this particular task that they'd be working seven and a half hours. Or would they? Let's check it out. So view and in fact I'm just going to insert the work column. Seven and a half hours. Great. Why is that? Well when you assign a resource they will be assigned to the standard calendar. Okay, and we set the working hours as a day is 7.5. So when we set a day is 7.5 in the project options. In here, when you put someone in as a day, Microsoft Project knows that's 7.5. However, there's a trick here. Don't be fooled. So when you create a new calendar in Microsoft Project, I'm going to come in at project information and see my project calendar. I created my UK calendar, but the standard calendar is the same. The UK calendar is the one that is actually 7.5. You must add that for your project calendar as well. Don't be fooled by thinking, oh, it's doing the 7.5s. The calendar must be set as this as well, in case you have a resource that isn't working in the same pattern as a UK resource, or maybe you have resources from different countries. You must always set the project calendar as the UK calendar. That's the standard for tasks, and then the resource calendars will be slightly different from there. Press OK. Now, by default, if I had a second resource, I'm going to add Alexa here. Oh, there goes my Alexa. Uh, you can see now, by default, there will be the UK calendar. That's the project calendar. So make sure you set the project calendar all your resources before you create them then by default they will get that UK calendar and if you want someone to work over in the UK my brother there Lawrence I'll put him as UK if you want someone in, in America we'll put someone in America also that's my wife Krista we'll put her on the standard calendar now because a particular task whenever we put a task in as 7.5 hours for a day if you assign somebody that works eight hours a day that resource calendar is actually going to overwrite the project calendar so you're going to get you might get slight differentiations because you've got someone working eight hours a day on a task that's only seven and a half hours a day so they're going to get that task done slightly quicker that's just the trouble with having people working in, in, in different countries so i always recommend sticking with one base calendar for your entire project and you can kind of just like you know is someone in the uk that works on a task for seven and a half hours going to get it not quite finished if it's an eight hour task versus someone in america that does it for eight hours they're pretty much going to do the same amount of work right so let's not get too picky about it so right now we have the calendar set up so that's your eight to five monday through friday or nine to five in our case then the other thing for regional settings I'm going to come into options and you're going to want to come into the schedule which I think it's display and set the currency for the project so we're going to put this in GBP which is Great British Pounds I believe that's what it will be uh, GBP there it is so now I'll see the pound and the pound symbol for all of the tasks in my project as opposed to dollars it's as simple as that so and I say that these people are 60 pounds an hour. And again, you could have a different currency for somebody else in a different country. But again, you're going to get very complicated because Microsoft Project can't handle exchange rates. 
So again, I always recommend that you standardize on a single currency. So if your project is based in America, have it based in dollars. If it's based in the UK and you've got some Americans working on it, have it based in pounds. And you can do some translations later down the line in Excel or something if you wanted. But yes, yeah, standardize on that currency. You cannot have a second currency. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Your project should now be set up to work in the United Kingdom. One last point that you might notice for those of you that are very, very clever. Um, when we see currency, um, let's say, for example, if we're looking at the cost column here, insert column cost. Now you'll see that the comma here, sorry, that the decimal point in certain countries like France, for example, we don't use a decimal point. We use a comma as a decimal point. So this would probably be euros, but it would be four zero four five zero comma zero zero. That comes from your regional settings, which is comes from your PC. So if you're using a PC, when you first set up that computer, it has regional settings, France, England, America. If your country uses a comma for a decimal, Windows is clever enough to pick that kind of regional stuff up. And if someone looks at a schedule, in on a French computer, they're going to see that comma. If they open up the exact same project schedule on a, on a, an American computer, they're going to see that period for the decimal. So there's regional settings that are set up by windows. And then there's project specific things that we can control. So it's kind of nice that it's done that way, but I just wanted to point that out. I have worked across the country, across the globe and seen those things come up in some training sessions. Hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video all the way to the end. Have a great day.